on a bit of a cliffhanger last time, so today we're going to finish this game off. We've got the giant fight, and then whatever the hell comes after that, we're going to figure out what happens. Also, Wayne, are you broadcasting your audio? You have to go to broadcast settings. Which... I think is settings, I think it's just settings and then broadcast settings, but you can actually broadcast your audio. Yeah, it was either there, it's either there or it's in party settings, because that might be to include your audio in your own broadcast. Yeah, that's the other one. Cool. Oh, I could find out and... Well, never mind. I have to update my stream because it's not playing for some reason. Whoa. Who is talking? Meridian. No, I just, I loaded in, and it sounded like the voice of God. Like, it was echoing like crazy for no reason. <laughs> no. Alright, let's pop this elevator. Alright, so... There we go, my stream is up. Do me a favor, Wayne, count down from three. I don't think your audio is coming through. Nope. I don't think your audio is coming through. Okay. Sorry about that. It's going to... Yeah. The problem is, is that if I leave my stream open on my PC, it's going to play my audio through my speakers. And then back into my stream, and then back through the speakers, back into my sh And, I, yeah, I don't want that echo. <laughs> Roland's apartment feels empty. Mm -hmm. Should I sleep? Did I leave anything unfinished? Okay, so... Let us rest, or not, this isn't a bed, that's a couch, I guess. And this will initiate the final quest of the game, I think. I like how it says, no way back, in caps. I think it's fantastic. The game gets a solid, like, 9 out of 10. How could you sleep, Elizabeth, with a weight like this pressing on you? How did you lost after you lost your family? Silence? Are you there? I guess I shouldn't ask ghosts for advice. Oh, I can hear you fine. I'm in a cutscene, so I was just letting it play. Ma'am, there are signs from the west. 
Sun King of Odd awaits you at the Temple of the Sun. Oh, you're fighting bubbles. By the way, for clarification, he's playing Monster Hunter Gen, and apparently he's getting attacked by Mitsuzune, which I nicknamed Bubbles. For those that play Monster Hunter Gen, they know why he's called Bubbles. We have a whole mess of shit coming at me. Oh. There you go. I was going to say, you could have done a bit better on that smoke texture. And then it goes into a pre rendered cutscene and it looks so much better. <laughs> Oh god, fighting one of those Deathbringers is enough. Now you got two of them? Can I not? Can I just opt out of this fight? Can I just leave? Yeah, unfortunately that's not an option. I love that. I'm the king, so I'm gonna use this sword. Never mind the fact that they have machine guns. Ooh, that looks painful. Was that an explosion from the inside? Yes, it was. Drop attack him! Drop attack him! You missed your chance. No. Rally the vanguard. Send reinforcements. Aloy, no. We need those guns. He will cut you down. Not this time. Oh, I look forward to killing him. You have vexed me long enough. Should have fought me in a sun ray then. Why do you Oh holy shit, does he have a lot of health? He's quick. He's not wearing much armor. Yet for some reason, that also makes him. If the death bringers keep firing, this bridge will go. That's not what I want you to pick up. There we go. I like how I am unloading a minigun into his face, and he does not give a shit. You know what? Fire arrows. Come on, bitch. What are you for the terror of a son? The one who will take you down. I am chosen. You came from nothing. Okay, I'm back. Welcome back, Nick. Huh. Aha, now you're on fire, bitch. I like how she lets him talk his final words. Followed your orders, butchered so many, and for what? 
style your niece? Used like a pawn by a power you don't even understand? You... pity me? Let him die honorably. Not even Squidward's house. Where the fuck did that come from, Nick? <laughs> That's from SpongeBob. Why does Squidward's house die? The box. Have to leave else Nobody there. knows what's inside the box. Not even Squidward's house. And it shows the oh house yeah, that's right. The and the house the was fucking leaning like in 90 degrees. Like, hey, what's yeah. going on? <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a fun little boss fight. I'm glad we started off with killing my least favorite, but most favorite character. He's, he was a giant dick, but he was also voiced by fucking whatever his name is. Christopher or Christopher or Crispin Freeman. Crispin, there we go. I knew it was a Chris something. Anyway. He voices Alucard in uh Helsing Ultimate. And Helsing, yep. if I'm not mistaken. Yep. So he sounded badass, but he was playing a giant dick. But I mean, you can't get mad at the guy for voice acting a dick. It's the way the guy was re One, two, that's three, how I always four, feel about five, that's how I always feel about uh, Todd Habercorn doing Sugo in the second part of Sword Art Online. That was good. He is such a piece of shit. Uh, in the fairy dance arc, the main main villain. Todd Habercorn did a really good job with that. There we go. He's within range to start taking some serious damage. Oh, I, I haven't finished that, but I, I saw the first couple episodes of it. It was amusing. I haven't, I, I haven't seen enough of it. I like. Uh, All right, took out another Deathbringer. What else are you gonna throw at me? Watanuki and Holic. He was, oh, he's Jocko in Dragon Ball. Yep. You know, Jocko the Space Patrolman. And, uh, let's see. There's also Momo -O in Good Luck Girl. That show's hysterical. Yeah. That's the thing, like, I watched, I watched mostly dubs, so after a while I'm just like, I know who that is. I know who that is. <laughs> it's taking a shot at me. Yeah. That's one of the reasons I haven't finished, like, Monster Musa May and stuff like that. It's like, yeah, I, I, I could watch it sub, but I could also wait. I'd love to watch the simul dub of Kobayashi's Dragon Maid, but I'm not paying for Funimation now. I don't really have the money for that. He's saying he's not gonna pay for... what was it? Funimation Now, it's their streaming service. Funimation Now for streaming. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I just don't have the money for it. One of the reasons I'm canceling Hulu, it's like, okay, I can save that 12 bucks a month. Use it on Final Fantasy! <laughs> <laughs> it is 12 bucks a month, so. <laughs> I am so glad I have this cannon with unlimited ammo, I cannot imagine this fight without this. I am just wrecking shit. Can I, can I just keep this cannon with unlimited ammo? Ow, ow, ow. Uh, 
Alright. Wow, like, what a slot. I mean, like, seriously? He, like, he needs to just, like, not be such a slot. You're not the one breaking up, we are. According to you. Are we done? Here? Uh, it says defend the ridge. Defend the ridge from what? They're all dead. Yeah, no, it, it still wants me to defend the ridge. But I don't see anything to shoot. Oh shit, incoming. Fuck all of you. Oh, no, oh that was down. perfectly placed. Alright, now I'm less perfectly placed. Oh no, demons! Oh no! Oh, it's such a threat, so dangerous. Get You're the dead. fuck away from me, bitch. <laughs> oh crap, that cannon was too close. I killed that long leg. Now we got a bellow back. Honestly, you might like this one just because you're gonna learn about these. You basically have to treat these monsters like fucking Monster Hunter. Because each monster has its own preset strengths and weaknesses, and you're like, alright, I have to remember that a bellow back is weak to impact damage on the. You know what I mean? Where it's like, you have to basically learn the fight, learn the uh, enemies. By name, by sight. I don't know what Zoids is, but I'll take the word for it. Well, I remember Zoids. Barely, but I do. What about Power Rangers? Good, the Deathbringer is down. Not gonna lie, I've had a couple of dreams about being a Power Ranger lately, and I don't know why, but I really like it. It's really cool. And I want to. Because you're a big fan of the Power Rangers. Uh huh? Because you're a big fan of Power Rangers. This is true. Kind of like how I keep having dreams where I'm a tentacle monster. <laughs> 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 oh. Uh, you know, I've actually had a, quite a few where I'm back in high school and I'm just like, what the fuck? It's been five years! My high school was terrible. Oh, shit! Uh, not long enough. Ow, 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 ow. I forgot he puts shit on the ground that I have to avoid. There we go. Give me the cannon. Hello for Thank line. you. One, now two, you three, four, four, five, six. Oh, the frame rate tanked. Oh, the frame rate tanked and I missed. Ow, ow. Fuck. Potion, 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 potion. I need potions. Hold on, I gotta go back for a second. Woo! Come on! This is a little bit broken. Oh man, I hit level 40! I wish I could sit down and actually appreciate that level up, but I'm still being FIRED ON! I'm going to destroy you, you Deathbringer bitch! I could do this all day! Bring it on, mother trucker. Oh, cutscene. Well, guess I did it well. <laughs> it's 
Silver one has very low defense. Oh, this cool. Well, the, well, the PS... The PC says I have three viewers, but the PS4 just said I have four viewers. Either way, thank you for joining me. Welcome to the stream. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to post. As I have my comment section open on my PC. I've got a question. I have a question. Who are you? Aloy. 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 I see my nonsense question is not allowed. I thought you would kill me. I never said it wasn't allowed. The others No. I got no response. Who are you? I am Cornelio. And he's creepy for my mother. That answers that question. Sorry. <laughs> Oh great, yeah, oh, I have fucking 5 HP. Good thing I have potions. Okay. Oh wow, everything is on fire. Absolutely everything. Even the fire is on fire. Yeah, the fire is indeed on fire. I'm gonna loot these because they probably have healing items. And I kinda need those. Because I have been chewing through potions. Like Jimi Hendrix on a caffeine drip. Someone should have brought dung bombs. That someone could have been me. Someone should have brought them. So this is not good. <laughs> there is now. There is a. There is a Dobo here. Oh, he what? He's just charging us to Durambaros. Oh. Fucking Durambaros. Yeah. I always called him Beyonce, so he likes to wag his ass at you. <clears throat> and then you can actually break off a piece of that ass. You can. You are not wrong. We got a scrapper, a scrapper. Oh wait, they're corrupted. I can't fucking take them. I would if I could, but I can't. So instead, I'm just gonna blow you the fuck up because I know what the hell I'm doing. There we go. Hopefully those civilians can get away. Oh, you're not a civilian. You're just a fighter. Either way, hope they're doing good. More well, healing this is items. Like fuck. Awesome. So if they destroy the elevators, how the fuck am I gonna get back to the? Never mind. I was just gonna say, how am I getting to this spire? And then I realized, oh Fire. yeah. Well, well, then we need to get there before the fucking machines destroy the planet. Let's go. By the way, Wayne, spoilers. Spoilers? Well, I'm I'm nearing the end of the game, so yes. Lots of spoilers. Well, I just assume every game is... With every game, uh, the world is going to be destroyed. Well, in this one, the world is destroyed not once but twice. Lots well, of death bring out of fucking nowhere. That's another death bringer out of fucking nowhere. Have you seen the uh, third Monster Hunter Generations Generations trailer? I haven't seen any of them. Okay. Well, at the end, there's a nice little uh, clip as they do. 
where they show one of the in-game monsters. And it looks all mechanical. It's really weird for Monster Hunter. And people are thinking it's the, um... What the hell is it called? The, uh... I just hope it doesn't have a dumb name like Nibble Snarf. Equal Dragon Weapon. That's what it's called. Because that would be hilarious. It's been like, we're going to have this super ultra amazing mega weapon. And we're going to name it Tim or something else or something also stupid. Well, uh, there was a... There was a book release that basically goes over the lore of Monster Hunter that, and the ancients did uh, create a thing called the Equal Dragon Weapon, where it's a combination of freaking um, basically monster parts and mechanical parts, but it's huge, and it it's somewhat sentient and basically is alive just to kill. Look, there isn't a lot of time left. I have to face Hades. Not alone. I think its whole My purpose friend, is to kill. I can't ask you to come with me. We were about to go over the top anyway, right? Right. The metal devil must fall. I should stock up. So people are expecting that giant mechanical thing to be the equal dragon weapon. What am I going to have to fight at the top of this ridge? Why, why, why can't I make it up? Thank you. Oh, this is definitely modeled to be a boss fight. Arrival of Entity has been anticipated. Entity will not halt transmission. What are you doing? You're Hunter. You're hacking my focus. What are you gonna throw at me? Another Deathbringer! How fucking fun! Do a lot of dodge rolling. Do a whole lot of dodge rolling. Come on, expose your weak spots. Do it. Oh god. Get on the ground, bitch. Two, three, and one right there. There's the shit stain. So, yeah, uh, Wayne, if you want to see some gameplay of Horizon Zero Dawn, you're welcome. To check out my stream. Holy crap. I could check out the stream. But I'm in the middle of a hunt. Well, yeah. I'm not saying you have to stop what you're doing to watch my stream. Charge a Dobo head on. Dobo's charge one. Fuck, I didn't get an option. I didn't get an opening. Can I just fucking shoot Hades? No, I don't think that's an option. Hades, quantum processing level. I'm gonna screenshot that because I'm interested. Holy fuck! Actually, wait, no, they're corrupted. I forgot about that. Corrupted are weak to fire. Let's go, bitch.
I'm being double teamed and I really don't like it. Ow. Uh, I she said. You ever know that's what she said, Draw? No. With the time I've got left, I can do this. That was a miss. Fuck, that's a lot of missiles. I hate that it can multitask. You know what I need to do? I need to knock the cannons off of it. Component removed. Perfect. Fucker, I completely missed my chance. I like how this chick is just screaming in pain. Just ow, 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 ow. She's standing in fire. Like, it, that is completely her own choice at this point. Her AI doesn't know what to do. She, she's literally just standing in fire like a moron. Ow. I'll take that missile. Well, you know what the professor once said. Fire is indeed hot. Wasn't that the episode where they were all dumb? Yes. The professor will help. Ah, fire is indeed hot. Hunting horn user, give me infinite stamina. <laughs> I know you miss me. <laughs> There's a hunting horn user. He can give infinite stamina. He currently is not giving me infinite stamina. I miss you. you. You gave me infinite stamina a lot. <laughs> and I. There we go. There's my infinite stamina. I brought mega juices too, just. Just so I could have infinite stamina. And then. He came in with a horn that could give infinite stamina, and I think he actually wasted the first Mega Juice I used. And I didn't bother using another one. Four of them on the way. So I want to say his, uh, his little mine. Can I actually set you on fire? I don't suppose I can, can I? You can, but I'd rather you don't. No, I really cannot set him on fire. Come on, I need to stock up my arrows. There we go. I need to apply damage to that thing. God damn it, what am I caught on? To the forehead. I thought you were going to do a critical attack and kill him, but apparently not. You're going to stand there and just get the shit kicked out of you. She keeps mentioning still got time, which leads me to believe that there is actually a time limit on this. I think. I don't know. This Deathbringer is being a lot more troublesome than the last one I fought.
got it. The battle is ours. Come on, Hades, let's fucking go. System threat imminent. Go where? Threat. Damn right. But apparently, time is just on our side, so we're just gonna sit here and loot crap. Because I just killed a small fucking army. Small army of children? You're not saying no. That leads me to believe you've killed a small army of children. She got a taste of the shocker. Sorry, that was uncalled for. Especially following up what I said. You know what they say, the worst part about being a pedophile is trying to fit in. The worst part of what? You broke up there. To activate state name and rank. Elizabeth Silver. <clears throat> Alpha Prime. Master override activated. Purging extinction protocol. This part of waking up. Is murdering your butler. <laughs> if the best part of waking up is Fulgros in my cup, I don't think I want to wake up. I prefer mine, murdering your butler. I just love how so many people call me fucking insane when I tell them I don't drink coffee. Like, I don't like coffee. I don't like coffee either, so I mean... This Yazuhiro person is gonna be pretty disappointed because the person who was close in the quests left or DC'd. I'm not sure which. Okay, so, to reiterate, I thought I was going to have another mission after this when I kill Hades, but apparently they just pulled Hades in, so there is no mission after this, so I am very sorry. I thought it was going to be this, and then another mission, but apparently not. And that is not my bow. Why is a VOD... Okay. I said, I thought he was running from something. I thought he was scared. No, he's overjoyed. That's good. Not the outfit I had on when I beat him, but, I mean, still. I've got my computer. Let's see how how charged it is. Okay, Gaia. Uh, sorry about that. Where was I? You're telling a story. Right. Yeah. So um. Whoa. Like I was saying, it was a children's electronics kit, but I hacked the wiring to an auto battery and solar PV, so the grass caught fire, and uh, so did mm. a tall pine that had stood there. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. My computer's hinge has seen better days. Query. You were how old? Six. My mother was home, thank God. So she called the fire department, and after, she took me out to the lawn and showed me the dead baby birds, because there were nests in the pine tree. Query, what did you feel? I'm not sure. I remember yelling that I didn't care, and that's when my mother took my face in her hands and... Oh, so, at work, they want us to push multi-renewals for our product, 
she said. Okay. <clears throat> being smart will count for nothing if you don't make the world better. You have I'm trying to bring up the exchange, so I have no idea what you're doing right now. To serve life, not death. You often tell no stories of your mother, shit. but you are childless. I never had time. She found Elizabeth? I guess it was for the best. If you had had a child, Elizabeth, what would you have wished for him or her? No I guess shit. I would have wanted her to be curious. And willful, unstoppable, even. But with enough compassion to heal the world. Just a little bit. you a pleasant sleep, Elizabeth. Thank you. I'll catch you tomorrow. Damn. Nice. Oh, part of me is sad the game is over. But I'm also going to do side missions. I'm not done. I'm still streaming for the rest of the night. <laughs> so you were saying, Wayne? Okay, I was going to say, someone's breathing kind of heavily into the microphone. I wanted to make sure someone was still alive. Nope, no one's alive. Okay, no now, now alive. you're just Eugene from Hey Arnold, and you need to calm down. Brainy. Brainy, Eugene, whatever. I, I didn't remember his name, but I knew you would know him. <laughs> yep. Alright, trying to find your stream, actually. On the bright side, there's no spoilers, because now I'm just watching the credits. Sweet. Can't wait to see. Alright. As I was mentioning, mm -hmm. at my work, they want us pushing multi-year renewals. So, when uh, people call in, if they are getting close to a renewal date, we offer the uh, multi-year renewal discount. I've met a lot, like, in just this month, no, I've only worked three days this month, because it's only the fifth. I've met a lot of people who are disturbingly comfortable with their own mort mortality when I offer them that, the multi-year renewal. What are you talking about? Like, at my work, I'll be like, at my work, I'll be like, we have this multi-year renewal, blah, 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 you can purchase multiple years at one time. And they'll be like, nah, I'm, I'm old, I'm probably going to die soon, so I'll, oh. I'll just purchase one, one year at a time. <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay. You're strangely comfortable with this fact. Hmm. You have three viewers, right? Two, according to my PC.
fuck, what am I gonna stream tomorrow? I could play more Final Fantasy XIV. I do need to level up my ninja. And then, what is it, 21st of March? Comes out uh, Mass Effect Andromeda, and I'm going to be playing that. I'm probably going to be playing a lot of that, too, because it has multiplayer, so... That's going to be fun. And I will not be joining. Why not? I've never played any of the Mass Effect games. really don't feel like starting now. Actually, Mass Effect Andromeda does not follow Commander Shepard. It's its own hero. No. So, actually, it's the best time to jump in. Because that was the thing, was, if you didn't play one, then when you jump into two, and you're like, okay, so I guess I'm Commander Shepard, and I did a bunch of cool shit in the first one, and they're like, yeah. But if you didn't really do it yourself in the first one, then it didn't really have as much of an impact on you. But yeah, this this new one apparently is going to actually revolve around a new hero with new uh new friendlies and so on and so forth, so But I understand, like it would suck to jump into like two or three and be like, Welcome back, Commander Shepard and you're like the fuck? What do you mean back? This is my first time. <laughs> Welcome back, Commander Shepard. Yes, that is who I am. Commander <laughs> Shepard, you have always known me. Shepard, god damn it, Wayne. This, this right here is why we can't have nice things. These credits? Additional visual design? Ah, uh, the asshat art. Additional asshat art. Okay. Welcome back, Nick. Hey. 
I beat Horizon Zero Dawn. There you go. Watching the credits. I gotta say, man, game gets a solid 9 out of 10. Huh. What would you say is wrong with it? There were only a couple small problems. There were times where the character animations were just stupid. The lip syncing most of the time is good, but there are times where what they say and what their lips actually move to are completely different. Like, I don't know what... what I feel like maybe their animations were said to a different language. <laughs> huh. Our amazing cosplayers and fan artists. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> but, um... The character animation sometimes broke immersion there. And then there was another thing where what they would do, and again, I've said this like three, four times now, they would look down at the floor, like their face, they would face down at the floor and then look up through their eyebrows at you. And I'm like, that's, that's not something people do. Like, that looks oh, fucking you know weird. That. What are you even doing? sure where I'm supposed to go. But besides for very small problems, I had a lot of fun with it. Hmm. I was also a little bit sad that most of the weapons were, like, useless. Hmm. Really? There's a yeah. voice actor for Aloy Infant? Oh, hold like, on one what? Helis was Crispin Freeman. Yep. And then Aloy was Ashley Birch. That reminds me, Wayne, have you ever seen Hey Ash, yep. What's Your Plan? Um, yes. I've seen a few episodes. That's who voice acts Aloy. Nice. Fucking Ashley She's Birch. She's a few anime also. Yeah, she is. Yeah, I've I can't remember which one, but... She said some really cool shit. I just remember how I, I, I saw her back when she was on fucking YouTube doing goofy shit. And now she's voice acting for games and shit. It's like, that's badass. She was in it several movies? Interesting. Yeah, wait, wait, what were you going to say? I was saying you should go to Blight Town. <laughs> Why? Why should you go to Blight Town? Yes, why is that a thing? Because he didn't know where he needed to go. Wow. But we're not even in Dark Souls 1. Like, the fuck? I always pick the Master Key specifically to avoid Blight Town. <laughs> so you feel like we're gonna enter Blight Town from the back end, go down, hit that bonfire, hit Quellog, and just get the fuck out? Yep. Between the frame rate and all the shit in there, no thanks. Hmm. Why are you shitting in Blight Town? Why wouldn't you shit in Blight Town? Known for Hey Ash, what's your plan? Whoa, whoa, whoa. She was Chloe and Life is Strange? I didn't know that. She was also Miss Pauling in all the TF2 animations, apparently. Or at least in the expiration day one. No shit. We Bear Bears, a TV series. I don't know what that is. Uh, she was... Network show. She was in... Oh, wow. She was in Infinite Warfare. I like how it just says voice. It doesn't say which voice. Hmm. She was just an additional voice. No, that's the name of the character, voice. <laughs> She's also in World of Final Fantasy. That's cool. Oh, this guy, this soldier had a, an exclamation point over his head, and then I walked right past him to see what was off in the other direction to the right, and then the exclamation point disappeared, so I guess whatever it was wasn't important. <laughs> Pretty much. Oh, wow, she voiced several people in Adventure Time. Hmm. Star Ocean, Integrity, show. and Faithlessness? I didn't know that. I should go back and play that. Who the fuck is Hana? 
I can't view the characters. That bugs me. So now that you're done with that, what are you going to stream for the rest of the night? Oh, I have side missions to do. Oh, okay. I was going to say, if you wanted to go into Ruby, we could do that. I put those vid a couple of video uh, videos up from last night. They have like 20 views right now. A couple likes. Oh, she's in Battleborn. Cool to hear. Wait, wait, wait. What videos? I saved a couple of videos from when we were playing Ruby last night. Oh. I get a lot more YouTube. views than I do. I think I have four, six subscribers. <laughs> huh. I think I'm one of them. Okay, fuck this. I wouldn't doubt that. <laughs> there were like 20... There were like 20 of these demon bats around me. I just hit them with my R1 like, nope. Meteors. Yeah, I have six subscribers. YouTube used to let you see who was subscribed to you. Now it's like... Now there's no page for that. Yeah, apparently not. Well, think about something like that for a fucking Markiplier or PewDiePie. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of... There comes a point where it's just pointless. For smaller channels, it's nice, but then for the bigger ones, it's just like... And what a oh. coincidence. They want me to subscribe to PewDiePie. And yeah. popular MMOs. And Markiplier, and Jacksepticeye, and Game Grumps, and FGTV. I'm already subscribed to Markiplier, Jacksepticeye, though. I watch their shit, like, every day. Out of that, I'm subscribed to Markiplier and PewDiePie. Uh, out of that list, I think just Mark for me. You guys hating on Jacksepticeye, is it because he's Irish? I'm Irish. <laughs> list loves Jacksepticeye. Well, I Lish just got stuff. plus He's... one in my book. Well, what? Lish just got plus one in my book. She should have a really high grade just for being engaged to me. Minus one. <laughs> uh, it's it's cause now you can't have me, right? Damn it! They're on to me. Who's this there? The FBI. See, he's secretly Hillary Clinton. The fuck? That's why the FBI's onto you. They know. Hmm. What additions can I make my channel? Something, something, oh. lizard skin, something. Yep. Something, something, making the frogs gay. Something, something, something naked Mexican, something. You know, I sexually identify as a naked Mexican on 3.7 seconds out of every other Tuesday. Not appropriating my culture. Do you also identify as a naked Irishman? <laughs> Only on Wednesdays. Neo Part 10, we broke Psycho Magoichi. <laughs> <laughs> That's when we got him stuck in the oh, fucking we... floor. Oh, oh yeah! God. Tuesdays you... end in Y. You... Rich, you recorded that? <laughs> oh yeah, I was streaming during that. It's on YouTube. Nice. Is my is my voice in it or did I not have my broadcast? I don't at believe the time? you were broadcasting at the time. Uh. Six whole subscribers, four hundred and five views. Hell How yeah. The, how long have you had the channel up? Uh January twenty fifteen. Oh, okay. I honestly made it several years ago just so that I could follow Jack and Mark. And a bunch of other people just sort of keep seeing videos that they upload. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see how many subscribers I have, because I used to try and make LPs. 
really early on. Like, we're talking like 2010, early 2010. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I tried that. Mine are so cringy, I gave up. I don't even know what an LP is, so... Let's, let's play. Oh. Let's play. Well, I mean, you just gotta keep uploading. Yeah. I mean, I try to... But I, I'm trying to think how best to explain it. I should get into video editing so I can get on par with, like, Markiplier and Jacksepticeye, because, like, there are times where it's just like, you know, I need to go pee or something, and it's like, there's, there's a minute, two minutes, three minutes, X amount of minutes where I'm just not doing anything, and it's like, yeah, they'd edit that out. they just get rid of that. Yeah. But at the same time, I don't want to take away from certain gameplay elements, because I've said this before, like, watching Markiplier and Jacksepticeye play... Uh, Subnautica. They'll go off yeah. and start farming for materials. And they'll be like, alright, well I need uh, 10 plasteel ingots and some wiring kits and a computer chip. And then they'll be like, alright, I'm gonna go farm those, I'll be right back. And then you just see a jump cut and they're like, alright, now I have all that. And you're like, you didn't even say how long it took. Like, you know, oh hey. Because yeah. it, it, it kind of gives the representation that the game is like, oh no, it, it takes no one near as much time. When actually... It is all farming for materials all the time. Yeah. Well, one thing you could do to rectify both of those issues is you could just find you could like you could watch through some of your stuff and be like, while you're editing, you could just be like, okay, well, there's no real value to this part of it, so I'll get rid of this. Mm. You know. That's why I was saying for like parts where I walk away to go get a drink or use the restroom, right. I try to do everything in one trip, but still, there right. are times where I have to walk away. Right. And then I was pissed because I did that 12 hour stream of Horizon Zero Dawn. I go to upload it, and then YouTube was like, oh no, the video's too long, we can't let you upload that. And I was like, son of a bitch. Like, I was dead beat tired, it was fucking noon, I'd been up for way too long, and I was like, alright, I'm gonna upload this, and then I'm gonna go to bed. And then when I came back, after sleeping, it was like, oh by the way. We never actually uploaded yeah. that. And I was like, that was prime time for YouTube. I was hoping to get views. Yeah. But nope. So, I apparently have nine subscribers, and my highest view counts are apparently in the 600s. And these are videos that I set to private years ago. Well, if you set them to private, how do they have that many views? Hmm? If you set I, set them, I set them to private years ago. They were public for a bit. Ah. Let's see, I have... I've had this channel, this was my third channel. I started in 2008, but that channel got axed in 2010. I made a second channel, that one got two copyright strikes and I ditched it. And so now this channel that I made in 11, so it's been up for five, a little over five years, I've got 2,463 subscribers and 2,073,851 views total. Damn. And let's see, my highest viewed video is my Helsing video with the vengeful one from Disturbed, and that is at 958,032 views. I am happy to see that my video from four days ago has ten views. Right. Uh, I I still know that feeling. I put I I can put videos up and then like in a few weeks they might have ten views or four views. It's like oh okay, and then I'll see people putting the exact same stuff up, maybe in worse quality, and they're getting like they have like a thousand views in a week. I'm just like how, what the fuck? Can't help it. Yeah, that's that's what kind of irks me. It's like I put a ton of effort into my videos, and I they might get nothing. And then occasionally I might catch lightning in a bottle. I, I prefer to call video. it just... sunshine in a bag. That shit just blew up. And I'm just like, oh, all right, I'll take it. So that's gonna be my first video to ever hit a million. And that's just crazy. Meanwhile, PewDiePie puts up a video and in two hours it has like three million views. 
Mm -hmm. I do Holy believe shit. he is the most subscribed channel on he YouTube. He is, yeah. He's like, he's a lucky motherfucker. Like, he just he just came at the right time and did exactly the right thing. Unfortunately, though, I I just see fucking subscribers like that. And I'm just like, 50 million subscribers, really? Yeah. Really? And I see people like Lobos. Like, I wanted to... I really wanted to get into, like, Dark Souls streaming, Challenge Run streaming and stuff. But I'm like... I will never be as popular as Lobos. I will never have anywhere near a fraction of the attention that he gets. Wow, these... These subtitles, or not subtitles, why did I say that? Credits. These credits are taking forever, but I like watching so credits. Especially on games I enjoyed. Some games I hated, and I'll just skip them. I'm pretty sure I skipped the ones in Ruby, just because I was like, really? Two and a half hours and I'm done? Fuck you. <laughs> yeah. It's like I said, I, I'm glad I only paid seven bucks for it. It'll, it's a good way to kill some time with, with some friends. It's cute. Yeah. It's amusing. And it's, it's a relatively easy platinum by the looks of it. Yeah, it's, see, the thing is, though, what's funny is that, like, you know, the only reason I got to play Ruby was because of, you know, game sharing with a friend of mine. And I'm very thankful that he let me play it. But at the same time, I wasn't really satisfied with the game kind of deal. Horizon, I'm only able to play because Johnny got it. I honestly enjoy this game so much, I wish I had $60 to buy, just so that more money would go to the developers, because this was badass. Yeah. Yeah, it, it looks it looks good. I'm leaning towards getting it, but not anytime soon. Japanese voiceover and translation. Voice cast, Ayaki Tagagaki, I think is how that's pronounced. I'm terrible with pronunciations of other languages. Hell, I'm terrible with pronunciations in the English language. <laughs> hey, Sassafras, you comfortable there, Lady Pants? She's that's just a like weird sentence up. out of context. She, she's like balled up on my lap, but like my legs are slightly apart, so she's kind of like squishing in between my thighs and it's just like I, is this comfortable for you? <laughs> Kenji Hamada Kenji Kitamura Kenji Namura Kenji Yamauchi The Kenji family's really in on this shit Damn <laughs> Wait 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 this is in Japanese context well, which yeah. means Kenji is the last name Right? Mm, no they in in the English version credits they'll use given name and then surname like we do okay see that that was my question I was like wait a second if I'm not mistaken they use surname first name we use first name surname so I was like yeah are they all first name Kenji or last name Kenji <laughs> they're all first name Kenji okay that that makes slightly more sense because I was gonna say good god the Kenji family just went to town on <laughs> yeah S I E H. Good God. Oh, yeah, they're doing what fucking, uh, what's it called? What's. This happens in, uh, Assassin's Creed as well, where they're like, hey, here's Assassin's Creed. Here's all the game developers and all that. Now, here's our voice production cast and our outsourcing team for English, French, Spanish, Polish, Russian, German. You're like, oh my God, we're gonna be here all week. I just realized, like, they were showing us the English voice actors, and then, you know, I was just reading off some of the Japanese ones, and it's like, I'm pretty sure they already showed a bunch of the other languages, where it's like, oh, yay, next week to see all the same positions, only they're all Polish, and then French, and then Russian, it's just, and what is Imagine going on with this the music Mighty number right nine credits. Now? How many backers did that have? A lot. 
Mm. It made like four million bucks. See, what I like is what, uh... Wow, four million? I hope they got sued. Like it, it, it got, yeah, everything, it got I in, in everything I heard about that game... Everything I heard about that game was that it was a letdown. It... Here's the thing. It's not particularly well designed. Um, and coming from somebody who's played all of the Mega Man games, I can't beat a single boss. Like, it literally, like, I, I couldn't beat any of any of the bosses, or even half the stages in Mighty Number no. 9. And, and I've beaten all of the Mega Man games. Like, there's a lot of, like, instant death stuff. There's a lot of frame rate hitches that just completely fuck you. Um, hit detection isn't very good. Um, hit boxes are weird. Things like that. Ow! Good lord, I'm getting... I'm getting mauled here. What's Attack on Titan Jr. High? Uh... Bizarre. Well, apparently... Ashley Birch voice acted in it. She's a voice actor in Fallout 4. Minecraft story mode. Hey Ash, what's your plan? Mm. Kind of makes sense that she'd be in Hey Ash, what's your plan, considering the whole series is about her. <laughs> she also apparently voiced uh, Sasha. Which one was Sasha? Was that the food crazy one? I think it was. Huh. Life is Strange, Chloe Price. No shit. I didn't know that. I should have caught on to that. Oh. Space Dandy. <laughs> oh, I've heard about that. Yeah, she voiced in Attack on Titan. Sasha. Oh, talking sure about Ashley Park still? Yes. Pretty sure that's the potato chick. I haven't seen Attack on Titan, so I don't really know, but... Why does it just say Sasha Browse? Like, that? They're, they're, they're not even giving a fucking picture of her. God damn, you know what? Highlight name. And Google search that shit. Yep, that's Potato Girl. That's hilarious. She's done a lot of shit, good God. I've only known her as Tiny Tina in the Borderlands series, and then her YouTube. I didn't know she was in the English version of Attack on Titan, and just so many other things. Well done, Ashley, God damn. And you can actually get her as a member of your settlement in Fallout 4. Cool. I don't know who these other people are. Search Google. Okay. Well, I need to go back to town. Uh, which I named because I, one of the videos started off right when you were talking about the, some of those uh, hentai games. <laughs> so I titled the, the second video Hentai Blackjack. Damn straight. <laughs> 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 
I forget what we were talking about, but... Oh, yeah, because we were talking about how, like, I have found games with more fucking production value in them than Ruby. Mm. I mean, we've all seen Katawa Shoujo. See, that one is like a... Hmm. You know what, I'll just hey, call Kate, it what it is. It's a visual novel. Hey, kid, yeah. you wanna fuck yes. a cripple chick? <laughs> what the fuck is Oodle? Like, Havoc Engine. But what the fuck is Oodle? And Decima. Does it even say what it is? No description, just decima. A little icon, it's like... Do I... Am I supposed to know what decima does? Yes. Like, they're in the credits for Horizon. That doesn't necessarily tell me what the fuck they do. Yay, more cutscenes. Finally. We just watched like 10 minutes of credits. No shit. <coughs> I don't even know what the fuck that just was. Hello, Asylums. No way. Hello, old friend. <laughs> yes, why? Remember me. We've still so much to discuss. <clears throat> so much you never revealed. Your masters, for example. The ones who sent the signal that woke you. Knowledge has its rewards, don't you think? Well, let's begin. No fucking shit. I didn't know this was level two. So, no, fuck that. I like that. They left it at a cliffhanger. They're hinting at Horizon 2. I like it. I knew they were going to leave it on a cliffhanger. Every game should end with a cliffhanger. No. Not true. I hate <laughs> that about some things. Fucking I hate, Splatterhouse. I hate that about anime, how it's just like, oh man, we're going to leave this season on a cliffhanger, and then also we're going to lose funding, so we're not going to make a season two. And then you're left there with questions. The High School of the That's Dead and Blood plan, Lab. Though. I never got to watch Blood Lad. It's good, but it doesn't fucking have an ending. It just stops. Yeah, same as High School of the Dead, where it's like, that was fun to watch. Mm, but, uh, yeah. It just stops. <coughs> I mean, at least that had some kind of a tie off to it where it's just kind of like alright well we can continue with this if we want to down the line but also if it stops here then well well you know it just stuff happened after this alright congratulations for defeating Hades and protecting Gaia just because you've completed Aloy's main story doesn't mean you've finished the game you're free to continue exploring complete unfinished quests and activities the state of the world has been restored to just before the looming shadow you keep all loot and experience from your successful playthrough. Thank you for playing. The Horizon Team. Nice. And I got a trophy. I was able to find one one of the competent players I was playing with earlier. That's always good. 
What trophies don't I have in this game? It's funny, too, because the trophies in this game, most of them are, like, collectibles, like, collect all of this. And, honestly, you can buy maps to reveal the general location of everything. Let's see. What do you mean? Yeah, unfortunately, I'm reading trophies, which means my stream is just blue, so I'm very sorry. That's another thing that's really annoying. Reach level 50. Learn all available skills. Yeah. Shut up. But still, at the same time, I'm thinking about, like, you know, how hard would these be? Because I'm trying to think of, you know, if this trophy, if going for the Platinum is even worth it. Earned at least half Sunmark in all trials. Earned Blazing Sunmark in all trials. Killed all the corrupted machines in every corrupted zone. So let's do all the corrupted zones. Do all the vantage points. Do all, collect all the wooden effigies. F yeah, found and accessed. Because that's the way this game works. It's, it's like, find one of these collectibles, then find all of them. <laughs> like, I have uh, found an ancient vessel once used by the old ones. And then there's another trophy for find all of the ancient vessels. And that's how a lot of these trophies are. Yeah, found all the figurines. Found all the ancient vessels. I mean, most of them are actually already revealed on my map, too. All possible optional allies joined the defense. Shit. Does that mean I need to play through the game again? I'll be upset. Aided the escapes of Uthid and the Child King Ataman. Aw, oh, fuck me. That was one of the side missions I didn't do and was gonna go do now. Rose through the ranks of the Harness Lodge and helped Talana defeat Red Maw. I don't know what that means. But that requires Hunter's Log, and I honestly thought the Hunter's... L I honestly thought the Hunter's Lodge was just boring as shit. I thought the specific purpose of the Hunter's Lodge was just kind of a, Hey, challenge yourself to do things as quickly as possible. I didn't think they'd have any actual purpose. And I still don't know what it means when it says access vantage point. Like, is there a specific place I need to stand? I don't know. But according to my map, I'm literally standing on one. So what if I do this? Okay, no, it just puts a point in the air. It doesn't tell me exactly how to access it. <coughs> Let's load up my bow just in case something tries to kill me. Because something is almost always trying to kill me in this game. Something should always be trying to kill you in every game. <laughs> Today we're gonna learn the alphabet. Or die. <laughs> <laughs> Cooking mama, either you cook the chicken or the chicken will cook you. <laughs> <laughs> One of you will go in this oven. A a Animal Crossing. <laughs> Pay back your debt or you get rabies. <laughs> Pay back your debt by just murdering people. <laughs> that would suck. Although, it is funny how some of the uh, influence you have in Animal Crossing. Well, there are people who are like, if you actually take the time and spend the bells to get the parchment and actually write a person a letter that says, get out of my town, do that for like a week, they will eventually leave your town. Just send the most abusive shit to them. It's just like, what did that squirrel ever do to you? It knows what it did. Yeah, I was going to say, he knows what he did. Alright, I think I've actually found the start of I this three uh, vantage point here. Oh. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> Wayne, there uh, something you want to share with the class? Um, aliens? Ow. I'm not saying it's aliens. But it's aliens. Damn straight. Oh god, that hurt. Is this the vantage point? Reminds me of Where do I go? Fucking oh, wait, Futurama, I where they went back to 19, 1940 whatever, 1947, and <laughs> in Roswell, and they and they uh, they got Zoidberg strapped down to the table and they're dissecting him and it's like, oh no, that was my gallbladder or whatever. I forget the line, but. That... I, I like in that scene. I like one deviled egg. Deviled egg. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! I didn't realize this. No, don't cut that. I need that to speak. <laughs> it's <start> cutting faster. <laughs> Goodness, I am surrounded by a lot of very large things that want to eat me. All this food, and I didn't bring any money. It's free. <laughs> <laughs> you just hear fucking shrieking. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I love the one. It was um, tales of interest. And then like, I, I forget. It was, I, I think it was the giant Zoidberg. And then it's like, there goes the neighborhood. There goes the other neighborhood. <laughs> The thing longer. Uh, it, was, it was the episode with the giant bender, and then they catch Zoidberg by tricking yeah. it with a, I think, a guinea pig. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Frank, we're gonna need a guinea a... pig. Trick me. Yeah, they're like, we're gonna need a <laughs> guinea pig for this, and then they literally used the guinea pig as bait to catch it. They're like, really? Uh, friends, help! The guinea pig tricked me. Oh, cool. I could actually do the final fight another time. Which means uh, you cannot uh, fast travel without now. your stalwart disguise equipped. So I actually need to change my armor set? Well, fuck you. Okay, so I actually needed to change armor to fast travel to this place. I should probably get the purple fucking shadow card armor then, just so I have something good. <sighs> Gotta love it. Gotta love it. See, that was one thing that happened. Was I played Watch Dogs 1, and I actually enjoyed it. But, I don't know. Once I beat that story, there was no real motivation to continue playing. I was like, alright, I beat it. I'm gonna go do side missions. And then, like, I never did. And the same thing with Watch Dogs 2, where it was like, this is fun. Like, the only reason it was fun was because it was co-op, and I was able to go through the whole thing with Johnny. That was fun. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah. After we beat that story, it's like, oh man, there's DLC coming out next month, and it's like, yeah, no. Oh yeah, whatever happened to the Dying Light stuff that they promised? I remember I last year they were saying, oh, in 2016, we're going to be providing a lot more content, and it just never happened. Mm hmm. Apparently it just never happened. I mean, you answered your own question. Yeah. Oh, wait, she kept his spear? Yeah, but now that I know the ending, I don't want it. Damn it, I want my old spear back. I don't like Silence anymore, he's a dick. The food is from Dowager Queen Lasadi. Her Highness knows times are hard and helps when she can. Ow. Eat. Bring some home for your family, if you have one. I had the most delicious cat earlier. I'd call it chicken, but it was from a Chinese place, so cat. He says as I have a cat on my lap. I mean, I've got a couple fat cats, but what does that mean? My name is Vanasha. For now, all you need to know is that I'm a whisper of reason in this howling pit. I'm sure you do. 
And so does Uthid. Okay, he's, he's dead. He's a good man, so naturally uh, the shadow calls Oh, that looks messy. Him. I see a big, fancy-looking icon on the and map, and something, and something tells me that's a boss. It won't take those mercenaries long to find him. I'm in the fields of slaughter. Help, if you're so inclined. Stop being evasive and tell me who you really are. Stop being evasive? You might as well tell me to stop being charming. It's impossible, but I like you. So I'll tell you a secret. I have friends in Meridian, and I'd like to do favors for them when I can. Uthid might be of use to them if he survives. How do you know Uthid is innocent? I'm excellent at making inquiries. Look. He feeds orphans from his own rations and personally punishes anyone who hurts the old or infirm. The idea that he would try to kill Edelman is ridiculous. He must have found something that can embarrass the priesthood. Otherwise, Bahavas wouldn't risk marking such a well-regarded man for death. What makes you think he's on the green plan? He knows he'll be pursued, so he needs a hideout that's both familiar and defensible. He once single-handedly held off an entire bandit clan in those foothills. My guess is that it will fall back on what worked before. And that's what I mean by the voice sinking. I'll Not matching. For Uthid, but what about you? Just, uh, what about me? What? What will you do while I risk my life? Useful things, little huntress. Look for three dead trees south of Sunfall. They mark the start of the green clan. <coughs> Good luck. This Naga does not want to get in traps. It's left the area twice after traps have been set down. Ah, oh, that always sucks. Why does it look like I have two qu Oh yeah, I forgot. Duh. I'm just gonna run straight through shit. Alright, I'm out of Shadow Karja territory. Does that mean I can equip my other outfit again? Yes, there we go. I like this armor set. It was extremely useful in the boss fight because... Well, a lot of shit hit me in the boss fight. And the armor set was like, nah, I'm gonna nullify all damage for like five seconds. Oh, these icons are demonic ballistas, okay. He was supposed to grab that. Now that I've carved Narga. Wow, I have seven skill points, god damn. Looks like that trophy for getting all the abilities in the game is not too far off for me. You know what, let me get the mount ability. Trap that we've set down a long time ago. Come on, walk this way. Stop being stupid. That's cool. I didn't know that. That is a thunder drop. No, that's a digger. Oh god, keep riding, keep riding, keep riding, keep riding. Hello. Oh, I just got knocked off of my dude. Alright. Remake arrows, remake arrows, remake arrows. Double up <laughs> arrows. Good. Triple up arrows. <laughs> you 
Is the bow the only weapon in this team? No, there's several different types of bows. Jesus Christ. Uh, when I'm not in combat, I'll run you through. Come on, pop up. Holy crap. Hey, you popped up. Ow. You know what? I need to read up on these dudes, because I honestly don't know what they're fucking weak to. Where is it? Tall Mac, Deathbringer, Rockbreaker. There we go. Destroying these components disables the ability to burrow underground. Hitting this component deals greater damage to the machine. And destroying this component disables the ranged elemental attack, triggers an elemental explosion, damage in the area. So there's no elemental advantages I can get on these bastards. I just need raw fucking damage. Like that. Ow. Oh, come on, I was dodge rolling. Haha, <laughs> you missed. I like how one of them is just now on fire permanently. Fuck, that was a complete miss on my part. It's really funny seeing a Duramboros charge and then fall right into a pitfall trap in the middle of its charge. bad time. Fuck, that was a miss. <laughs> oh man! Hunters, out of fucking nowhere. God damn you! Holy oh, shit, that was a lot. Get out of the ground so I can fucking kill you! Ow. Damn it, I was aiming for the actual cooling vent. Alright, reload the bow, reload the bow. And of course, you fucking pop up and then down. Bitch. That's how I'm gonna actually lay some damage on you. I am now inside of him. That was fucking weird. These guys are fucking pains in the ass to fight. And I'm using a slow bow right now, so I can't do quick pots. You sneaky fucking digger. Ow. Got him, now he's on fire. Now he has that to fucking deal with.
Uh, I knew that would get me that trophy. That's why I'm glad I encountered these guys when I did. I knew that would kill you as well. What? You're dead! Okay, well that was funny. <laughs> I killed a digger during the dig animation, so it dug underground and then just popped back up and died. Because the game was like, well he's digging, but he's dead, so what do we do? So it, it let him dig underground, only to then immediately die. What are those? Those are behemoths. We're gonna ride right on through them. Fuck that noise. Sass, can you bite your tongue again? That's cool. What's your tongue saying? Sassy. Oh. I named her when I was three and a half. She's, uh, she's 19, and she's, she's been biting her tongue, and she actually bit through it. Oof. Yeah, and so, like, I, I think she keeps doing it when she's sleeping, too. Like, like her, her, her bottom left tooth was, like, in the bottom of her tongue at one point. And so, and her head keeps, like, twitching, like she's, like, like something hurts. So I'm wondering if she's doing it again and doesn't realize it while she's sleeping. Ah, maybe. Uh, going down fast. Please try to up that rise. Everyone who's in this room with me and on Mount Center, I've been in different rooms with. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Because we've played with some pretty bad running... people. Yeah, that means I'm running into. A lot of the same people, which is weird. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, Wayne, are you able to look at my stream? Yeah. Okay, sorry. Uh, for weapons, you've got your basic spear, R1 and R2 to attack with. You've got your... Well, we'll just stick with purples. You have the elemental sling, which can shoot frost, lightning, or fire grenades. Then you've got the elemental bow, which can do frost, lightning, or corruption arrows. Then you've got the rope caster, which you can use to pin monsters down. Then you've got the trip caster, which can be used to make elemental trip wires that will detonate and deal damage. Or, like I have my trip caster buffing fire damage, so that pretty much, if I put down the fire line and they run across it, they are instantly on fire. And then you've got the Shadow Blastling, which throws three different types of grenades. Impact Detonator, Proximity Detonator, and a Sticky Timed Detonator, where after five seconds they explode. And then you've got the Shadow Sharp Shot Bow, which does heavy damage but slow draw. And then the Shadow Hunter Bow, which does lower damage but much quicker draw. So there are quite a few different weapons. I mean, I would, it, it's still very primitive in that, you know, you've got sling, bow, and spear, and that's... And then you've also... Yeah. One weapon I don't have is called, like, the Rattler or something, and it's kind of like a burst fire uh, gun, but it's very inaccurate. Like, it's on par with a shotgun, where you fire five sharpened... Dicks, I guess, at once. That reminds me of a weapon I came up with the other day. The machete shotgun. It's a shotgun that shoots uh, multiple machetes in very inaccurate fashion. For which game? Just a game that I... Uh, not a game. Uh, just a weapon I came up with. No game uh. needed. You know what I thought would have been cool for Monster Hunter? 
combining the uh, charge blade with the insect blade. Where what it comes down to is you actually have basically it's kind of like Captain America's shield, but it's different uh, best boys. So you could throw it and return it to you, so it's kind of ranged. Or you can beat them with the blunt. Well, you can beat them with melee attacks. Food scraps. I'll bet he's being followed. He must have kept going. I've got to catch up. And just like in Monster Hunter, killing things in this game usually comes with a sense of badass. <laughs> like killing a watcher, those, those aren't really much, but like the fucking diggers that I was just fighting, which by the way, I've never killed them before. <laughs> because I just, I don't want to fucking deal with them. But then it was like, go ahead. I was gonna say, I feel like at this point, any game where there's a big boss, there's big bosses around, they should always give you a feeling of accomplishment. Like Dark Souls, Monster Hunter, Bloodborne, uh, Nio, this. They should all give you a feeling of accomplishment when you kill the boss. Maybe not every boss, but a large chunk of endgame ones. Come on, you're dead. Thank you. Is it though? Is it really? Can I pull in a broadhead? You're a charger. But anyway, welcome. I can I can pull in an ally at will. That is badass. Bitch. Shit, a fucking treasure goblin. Okay. And also, another cool thing about doing this in uh, Horizon is that you can easily rebuild materials. Like, arrows, you have a very, you know, you have a limited supply, obviously, but making more is super easy. And instant, which is awesome. Uh, but one of the things I like about bows and monster hunter is the fact that there's infinite arrows. Yeah, there might as well be infinite <laughs> arrows because in order to make arrows in this game, you need wood, which literally grows everywhere. Trees, uh, yeah. And then metal scrap, which drops from literally everything. Robots drop scrap. Hunters drop scrap. Oh, I almost fell to my death. And got scrap. No. <laughs> I'm doing my game. Either you're a terrible you shot or you were firing a warning. Yup, there you go. You're young for a bounty hunter. Or am I old for a soldier? I'm not here for the price on your head, Uthid. I believe you're innocent. Innocent? <laughs> Come on then. If this is a trick, it's a good one. You've earned your kill. <coughs> no tricks. Just talk. All right. Speak. I want to know what happened at Sunfall. What really happened. 
All right. For weeks, each dawn in the tent city came with a new death. Always in their sleep, no struggle. The old being firm, sometimes the young. Those who couldn't fight for the cause. I should have realized then it was a culling. Who would do such a thing? They thought it was a curse, an evil spirit. But it was only a man. And a silent poison. It took time to catch him, but we did. We brought him before Bahavis for the sun's judgment. <coughs> the high priest Bahavis? He's the one who put the bounty on you. Yes. You know what I'm gonna really like about Generations Generations? Then had his guards release the villain. Saying the name. You see? It was he who Yes, but also the uh the messages that pop up on the screen like your sharpness is at max or shit like that, um when you're using hunting horn, the buffs that get applied. You can actually set those to appear in the lower left. The kind priest so they're not in the middle of the fucking screen anymore. It's all a fat joke. Hmm. If it's honor you seek, the sun car just seem trustworthy. A little stuck up, maybe, but trustworthy. Those cards who once raided your Nora lands. Raided every land we could reach. It was the sun's will. I did what I was told. Others did worse. But as their captain, I... Uba, I don't care what you did. I, I can't absolve you, but the Karja are changing. That was for shit. You could too. Perhaps. Avad doesn't understand what the sun demands of its soldiers. Perhaps he understands it too well. Now you sound like the blameless Murad. I can believe you're a good man, but why go with the Shadow Karja? I don't know what that person was aiming at. Because of Edelman, of course. He was the one true Sun King. Itaman's just a child. Yes, an untainted vessel. I believe he was pure. But they used him, used our faith. I can see that now. Hang on. I gotta go do something again. Havas didn't need to disgrace my name. I did it myself. Hang on to your book. I met someone who wants to get you out of this. A woman named Vanasha. But first, we need to get you out of here. What are you? You look like a hunter. You give orders like a soldier who's been out. Mercenaries. Think they'll all line up to tell me I'm innocent? Should have stayed on the plains, Kaja. The mountains belong to us. Key cooks kill us. <coughs> when we're done with you, you won't even leave an echo. You didn't make it hard to be followed. Almost as if you wanted to go out in a showdown. Not much gets by you. Found him over here. Oh. For the Where the fuck did that arrow go? I was aiming high, it went low for no reason. Alright, that one I'll admit was a valid miss. Keep up the attack. We still got another squad on the way. I love those moments where you're like, I don't know how I survived that one. I did not deserve that. I don't really need supplies, bro. I carry I everything I need to craft. Always. That's the other thing, is that it's really cool being able to just craft things on the fly. And just carry so many materials and, and just everything. 
that when it comes time to make things, you're like, oh, I need to make, done. Like, literally I bought the elemental bow, and it has its own quiver. So the quiver was level zero, or level one, whichever one you want to call it. And immediately, immediately was like, alright, I'm going to upgrade it. One, two, three, done, it's maxed. Like, I just, I had all the materials I needed. Because you just, you gather shit and you kill shit as it comes at you and you're good. Grab what you can while we still have time. Grab what I can? What the fuck else do I gotta deal with? How many branches do I have? I got a little under 500. I'll start gathering those again. Medicine pouch is completely full. What are they going to throw at us next? A more fish. More fuckwits with bows, I assume. I like my answer better. Oh, great. Now we get to deal with Oseram bounty hunters. A robust defense is the most satisfying. Great. All right, Marbles. We brought the priest out here, so let's put on a show for him. Can I put an arrow in his head, please? I, I really hope I can kill him. We've unfinished business, Bahavis and I. This will be difficult. I think you rallied to a lost cause. I don't intend to die today, Uthid. I did. You're <coughs> Get fucked. Get fucked twice. Get fucked a third time. Press the advantage. It shifts like heat haze. Look out to your left. Cave and I got shit jumping out at me. It's just a mess. Which ice cave? Uh, fields of slaughter. There's a an ice dungeon. There's more yeah, than there's one. Frost. Ah, yeah, there's let me know one. if you were in the chill Tara. Okay. There was only one that showed up. Yep. You know, well, you know what I mean, right? How you, you know, you load out of the area and back in, and you'll get a different cave. Yeah. Ah, shit. That was me fucking up. Oh, come on, that was a headshot. That was a headshot. Alright, that one was a legitimate headshot. I was going to say, something better fucking hit. Go ahead, pop your head out. Oh, that was a miss on my part. That one was in the throat. Bahavis thought he had enough fodder to keep him safe. Now there's hope for justice. Will you come with me? Of course I will, but I'm looting corpses right now. Give me a moment. Oh, I'm down another 50 wood. I really go through that shit. Honestly, the better thing to do would be to just shoot the fucking zip line and try to get rid of the zip line completely. But, uh, yeah, that's not a thing that you can do in this game. Those sound like the words of someone who doesn't actually believe. No, it sounds like the words of someone who actually already tried. This won't be easy. Bob still has his personal. I like my words better. Wait, I'll try again. Yeah, no, it, uh, I have collision detection with the zip line. I just put an arrow right directly into it, and it doesn't break.
Look at that. I like how there's three bodies in the exact same spot. Like, wouldn't you have learned that I have a clear shot on your forehead by the body that's already there? They don't know that that body may have, may have been there the whole time. Across there and we'll have him. <clears throat> I had to come here myself to end your suffering, Uthid. I have a shot on him. The Outlanders led us here, and now that they are dead, their price is most affordable. But enough with needles. It's time for blades. Remove them from the sun's sight. Oh, you have a heavy with a fucking grenade launcher. That's gonna be fun to kill. Again, can I shoot the priest? No, no I can't. Alright, I need this bow. How are you not dead? Make it hurt as the shadow falls upon them. They have corruption arrows? Come on, what are you doing? Pick up the fucking thing. Don't loot the corpse, you... Alright. Kill the traitor! Kill a Nora! Bitch. How did I miss... Twice, three times in a row? Okay, you're just a tank. On your pathetic life, Alright, you're dead. I like how and gravity seems a little off in this game. What, Horizon? Yeah. Well, it's more along the lines of just them doing their fucking animation, and you just can't interrupt that at all. Or are you talking about uh, the arrow trajectory? I'm talking about how when, when they're jumping, it looks like they're slowing in midair as they descend. Yeah, it's kind of their animation thing, just locked them. I've had that happen a couple times, where if I do, like, the drop attack from above, she'll, like, jump onto their shoulders and stab them, and you're like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> or there's other times where, like, I'll jump from one ledge to the next, <laughs> and it'll automatically enter slow motion. I'll double it. More than double it. No. I'm tired of this boss. And I, every single time there's tension that you're gonna just die. I don't suppose you kill yourself. I have to. That person has a funny hat. Prune the weak. Roll the card The hat with the square. He's in he's 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 a high ranking religious official. You have to have a funny hat. It's true, I mean haven't you seen the Pope hat? The Pope hat is the funniest Pope hat. I know that was a redundant statement, but I don't care. That was quite a firework show. <clears throat> you took your time. I was busy. What do you think happened to Young Shun? The other mercenary band? And I had to organize passage to Meridian for a wanted man. Give us a moment, Uthid. Girl talk. You've had quite a day. I never imagined Bahavas would blunder into his own trap. His death opens up wonderful possibilities. Remember Edaman and Nasadi? The Child King and his mother guarded like hostages at Sunfall? With Bahavas gone, no one will be watching them. I want to get them out. And I could use your help. Cool. Kidnapping the Sun King with the Shadow Karja is no small task. It's not kidnapping. They want to go to Meridian, to safety. How do you know that? I've been posing as Nasadi's handmaiden. She's scared. For herself, of course, but mostly for Edaman. <coughs> Why do you care what happens to them? Edaman is the Shadow Carja's figurehead. If he defects, it will remove their last trace of legitimacy. She has a valid point. just a boy who clings to his mommy. He made a little <coughs> for me out of matchsticks once. It wasn't very good, but still, nobody ever made anything for me before. 
<coughs> What's going to happen to Uthid now? Don't worry. You gave him a second life, and I'll put it to good use. He'll be welcomed in Meridian as a military advisor. Hopefully he can help Avad finish the Shadow Karja with as little bloodshed as possible. What's going to happen at Sunfall now that Bahavas is dead? Oh, it will be glorious. The priests will panic. They'll be insane, <coughs> spellduggery, and backstabbing as they wrangle for power. Best of all, they'll be distracted. Bahavas, your life brought misery, but your death is a flower that blooms in abundance. What do you need to get in a I must say, I like her headdress. With Bahavas dead, Sunfall is the easy part. I'll handle that. The big fuss will be crossing the border to the Sundan. Find my friend, three Tohu Adib near the branded shore. I hired his crew to sweep the path, so all you have to do is wait for me. If this Wadiv has already cleared the area, why do you need me? Contingencies, little huntress. Something will go wrong, and I need protection I can count on. You. I'll try not to disappoint. The Nora said you would help me. <coughs> Are we bound for Meridian? Only if you want to go, my dear. What choice do I have? None at all. I was just being polite. Well, I'm up I wonder on how the shit's gonna go. No, okay. What makes you think a bot will welcome me after I served his enemies? He's a fucking idiot. <coughs> just smile a lot. You can't smile, can you? No, that's that's a grimace. Nervous about going to Meridian? I've been a soldier for twenty years. I do not <coughs> Not even around a pretty lady? Dignify that with the response. The Nora said you would help me. Are we bound for Maria? Okay, they're repeating their audio. We're just gonna fast travel the fuck out of here. Wait, what's our quest objective? Alright, good. Locate cauldrons and override corners to learn how to override different machines. And it's like, I don't really need that tip as I've already done every cauldron in the game. There's only like six. I'm sad there's no uh, rarity past purple. I was hoping to get like a legendary bow or something, but no, purple's the highest. And I already have a purple everything except the rattler, because quite honestly, I don't care about the rattler. Ow. So why do they call you Three Toad Hadid? Three Toad Hadid, right? Vanasha sent me. What happened? I got hornswoggled. That's what. Vanasha batted her lashes, wiggled her hips, and promised us treasure. Clear a path for the royals, she said. Sneak past the garrison and skewer a few watches. Hardly a bother. Little did we know there was a damned monstrosity lurking underground. When will I learn not to gawk at skinny girls? Why do you think Vanasha swindled you? My crew came to Sunfall because we heard the bounties were fat. She offered us the fattest one of all, enough to retire on. It's my own damn fault for taking the bait. Should have known I'd end up with a rupture in my useful pots. So Vanasha needed safe passage for Nasadi and Idaman, but it didn't work out? She made it sound so sweet and easy. Find the best path to the lake, make sure it's safe. What could go wrong? Turns out, a lot. Like, 
bloody murder in the grinding jaws of a heinous death beat? Something attacked you from underground. Oh, you picked that up, did you? I wondered why the Shadow Kaja didn't pay attention to the past. Well, they don't need to. A rock-eating demon guards it for them. It tunnels in the dirt, breaks through the earth, and blasts rocks from its stinking face. I barely escaped. My comrades weren't so lucky. I might shed a tear if they weren't all cutthroats and cheaters. Anasha will be here soon with Masadi and Itaman. I've got to destroy that thing in the past before they arrive. You're not too bright, are you? Well, we didn't last long against it, but I'll tell you what I know. It's a rock breaker. I already know how to kill it. Go away. A little less at the rear. And when it goes underground, it will lose track of you if you're quiet. You claim you are not a killer. Do you? So? You get its big crooked arms hard enough. That's all I can offer, friend. I promise to look solemn at your funeral before I hit the bar. Okay, where the fuck is this rock breaker so I can put some hurting on it? Although he did tell me something I didn't know, and that is that if you actually stay quiet when it's underground, it will lose sight of you. So it's like a T-Rex. Kind it's of. a mole. Except for the whole quiet instead of moving. Or not moving. You know, this is me trying to be quiet and not move around to get caught, but it's catching me every time. So, I'm gonna so call shenanigans on that. Now. Yeah, I'm gonna call fucking bull on that. And I'm gonna fight it the way I intended to fight it. I forgot, I need to hit you with the purple arrows. Ow. D I'm stuck against the cactus. What the fuck? Damn it, that Did one you just... Get the number of that cactus that, 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 out in front of you? That arrow just hit a cactus. Basically, I'm fighting uh, Nibble Snarf. That's that's basically what he is. Robo Nibble Nibble Snarf. Pretty much. All right, let's stack up the damage. There we go. Like, look at this. This is Nibble Snarf's attack. He does the thing where he'll dig underground and then repeatedly jump up and then underground and then jump out and go back underground and like it's it's nibble snuff. I'm doing that cool thing where I get hit. I'm doing that cool thing where I make him just light himself on fucking fire. So good at that. Bad timing on the dodge roll. Honestly, though, I was fighting two of them at once earlier, so fighting one of them is actually a relief.
Yeah, right, that was done. I'm sorry so many of his men died, but, you know, got too much already. he said there were cheaters and liars and such, so, I mean, I'm not too beat up over it. Okay, up here. I say, where the fuck is it sending me? Hi. How are you doing? Hello. I can't believe it. Not bad. You? Doing all right. I thought that evil rock jewel would grind you up. After that miracle, all we can do is wait. Benasha will be here, no. along with a boat that'll take the royals across the lake. Tyrael's gonna die, isn't he? Why do you think that? Because he's mortal and he's being all bold and he's like, I'm gonna fight Asmodon with you. It looks like something chewed you up and spat you out. That's pretty God bad. damn, Vanessa, you Hello, clean up Peter. nice. Here we go. I like how you always cut to the chase. In this case, literally. It won't be long before you're followed. I don't know who Vanessa don't is. Vanessa. We've got excellent protection. That's close enough to what I said. I agree. Still, though, normally you see her in, like, a dress, but... In her armor, she looks fucking nice. <clears throat> oh dear. No. I'm the Shadow Carter, and they're very angry with me. I'll hold them off. Very noble of you, but when I start a fuss, I like to finish it. Not that your assistant isn't welcome. All right, two on one. Edelman and his mother to the shore. Carefully. <coughs> so That's what I was expecting this. to happen. I must say, after two years under the heel of these zealots, I'm ready to extract a little blood. First person I see is gonna take three arrows to the fucking chest. Place traps in the canyon. Don't mind if I do. And done. In case they go for the flank. In case they try to use the rocks for cover. They're probably going to go for the choke point down the middle. Traps are set. I'm still planting traps. You go fuck yourself. I'm having fun. <coughs> Me too. No, you, you don't Here understand. Let's make it work, shall we? I am putting so many Duke. traps down, it's stupid. I'm making one of my, uh, one of my time-restricted skills last infinite time. What? <clears throat> uh, do you know much about, uh, the switch axe? Uh, yeah, a little bit. It has a, uh, it's got a hunter art where it gets, um, infinite swings as a sword, but the energy the sword energy slowly goes down over time, rather than with each swing. <laughs> There's a skill that lets you instantly charge up your uh, 
your gauge, your sword gauge, all the way to full. So you go into the demon right, which is the gauge going down over time rather than with swings, and then so that that goes down, but it doesn't go down fast enough to negate the um, increase in the skill that lets you automatically charge. So you just keep in that demon riot the whole time. <clears throat> to me, brothers. How was that a fucking miss? Come on, come around this corner. Sit down. What do you mean you worked up a bit of a sweat? You haven't done a fucking thing. Really? That's it? We're done? Dude, do you have any idea how many traps I just put down and you're, and we're done? I literally put down like 20 traps. I honestly hope we're not in the clear. I don't want shit to attack. Oh. This one's mine. Get to the boat. You know, this time I think I might be out of my league. If anything happens to her, I will be very cross. We're not going anywhere. What is it, a Thunderjaw? I can take care of it. Oh, wait, you're a corrupted Thunderjaw. Never mind. Gotta change up my strategy then. Shoot that. Fuck, that was a miss. You and your fucking disc launcher, you piece of shit. Get over here, I'm gonna put an arrow in that. You're gonna lose that. I don't want you to fucking have it. And now I'm gonna put one on your face, because I wanna remove the fucking guns on your face. I like how she's like, if anything happens to this hunter, I will be very cross. And they're like, don't worry, ma'am, we won't leave her. And then they immediately ran out and died. Like, dude, I'm the one that has to save your asses. Yeah, that's right, bitch. I'm using your own cannon against you. Bitches love cannons. Okay, Saris. I gave that bitch nothing. Bitches go crazy over nothing. That will always be my favorite one. I'm glad Nick's seen Helsing Ultimate Abridged. I have not. They That's call you Nightwalker. They call you Nightwalker. You glide through oceans of blood. Oh yeah, work the shaft. Oh, I'm sorry. I like to talk dirty when people are sucking my dick. Uh, I think I'm supposed to know that reference, but I don't. So sorry. The <laughs> crimson fucker. <laughs> I knew I was gonna land a fucking shot on it. I feel rather proud of that shot. It's just a thunder draw, it's not that hard, guys. It's funny that I say that considering it is one of the final bosses. Like it's one of the three toughest enemies. You got Rockbreaker, Thunderjaw, Stormbird, and Deathbringer as the toughest enemies in the game. And I'm just like, ah, it's just a, it's just a Thunderjaw, it's no biggie. Nah, that was and the Nazis! <laughs> That should be kill. 
Yep, it's dead. Yeah. It's, the villains in uh, Helsing Ultimate are the Nazis. Basically. I, I've seen Helsing Ultimate. I own Helsing Ultimate. <laughs> okay, I wasn't sure. I just haven't seen Helsing Ultimate abridged. No space. That's unfortunate. That's something you should fix. <laughs> like a dog humping everything, something you should fix. Or you just teach the dog not to hump everything. I mean, you can try, but it's a dog. Okay, and... So, Alucard, how went your mission in Japan? Oh, I'd say about 99% done. 99... school of the dead. Point nine. That just comes to the start of high school of the dead. Oh!